Between practice, film study, and time in the weight room, Texas State football players put in a lot of hard work to make sure they're ready each and every time they take the field. It takes a lot out of their bodies. That's why it's important that they're aware of what they put in their bodies. Here to make sure they receive that proper fuel is Texas State sports nutritionist Chelsea Burkhardt. A lot of athletes want to know, what do I need to eat? Sometimes they ask why, and or oftentimes if something's not working, then they'll ask why. Why is this making me feel this way? Um, and, and helping them put the pieces together on carbohydrates are for energy, protein is for recovery and repair, uh, so that they understand where these things fit is, is typically how I go about it. Pre-workout meal, we want to be carbohydrate focused. Um, at this time in the morning, ideally an athlete's eating their last full meal before a, a practice session or a training session or a game four hours before. This is not four hours before, this is about two hours before. So the amount of and volume of food that an athlete's typically gonna eat at this time is not gonna be incredibly large compared to a standard breakfast would be for that individual. So therefore, most of the fuel they're gonna utilize at practice today is going to be stored fuel from dinner or a later snack yesterday evening. This plate has a little bit of protein. Um, I also salted the, within the eggs. I also salted the eggs uh, to add a little bit of extra sodium, like extra electrolyte, which will help with with water absorption, fluid balance out on the practice field during a hot day. And then the rest of the plate is really carbohydrate. The bagel topped with some, some healthy fats uh, to aid in satiety, keep the athlete full a little bit longer through the duration of a practice uh, without being overly heavy as far as it's not greasy like a biscuit and gravy would be. At the cellular level, the body wants exposure to carbohydrates and protein multiple times a day and is is more sensitive to nutrients on like a three to four hour window um, where it can, it, instead of doing one large bolus of food, we can do smaller increments and it um, plays a role in the body's ability to store those nutrients when it's given in smaller increments throughout the day. So um, I call them, for, when it comes to protein, I call them protein exposures and I encourage our athletes to have five protein exposures throughout the day and get a dose of protein in about every three hours throughout the day that's proportionate and relative to, to their body size and to their needs. I think at the end of the day, it, it helps us, well it helps me do what I do in everything we do. So from pre-lift, to post-lift, to pre-game, to post-game. Uh, it, it's all interconnected, so there's no independent variable. It all works together. And I think that nutrition, again, is that edge that really, truly brings it all together. You know, I would say that probably only 40% of what I do gets kids bigger, stronger, faster. The other 60% comes from what they're putting in their bodies. So it's critical, it's her impact on, on what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Typically in the middle of season, I encourage our guys to do what I call the rule of thirds, where they've kind of got a third plate carbohydrate, a third plate protein, and a third plate of color. So if you could kind of draw a peace sign on this plate, that's essentially what you'd be looking at as a third plate carbs, third plate protein, and a third a plate of color. This is the time when Throughout the whole day, we want them to be putting back and replenishing and getting those stores full so that they're ready to go for a full day of, of practice and classes tomorrow. Chelsea Burkhart is the wife of strength and conditioning coach Aaron Burkhart. And between the two of them, you can count on the Bobcats on being in top physical shape every time they take the field.